Let's practice. Leah. Q and A. Level up. Agricultural economics. Part 2. Here we go. The business activity of selling goods and services to the final consumer. A. Wholesaling. B. Selling. C. Distribution. D. Retailing. The answer is letter. D. The income that households are free to spend or save. A. Gross domestic product. B. Savings. C. Personal disposable. D. Gross national product. The answer is letter. C. It refers to the corporate concern for social welfare. A. Consumerism. B. Social responsibility. C. Environmentalism. D. Social issue. The answer is letter. B. An approach used in analyzing economic situation using value judgment is called A. Positive economics. B. Normative economics. C. Microeconomics. D. Macroeconomics. The answer is letter B. Acts as the grease in the marketing machinery. A. Facilitating function. B. Transportation. C. Market intelligence. D. Market behavior. The answer is letter A. A financial report that summarizes the revenues and expenses of an enterprise during an accounting period. A. Balance sheet. B. Funds flow analysis. C. Financial statement. D. Income statement. The answer is letter. D. The real wage is equivalent to the nominal wage, adjusted for. A. Allowances and other benefits. B. Inflation. C. Income taxes. D. Income and business taxes. The answer is letter. B. The market equilibrium point for a commodity is determined by. A. The balancing forces of demand and supply. B. The market demand. C. The market supply. D. All of the above. The answer is letter. A. The utilization of products. A. Consumption. B. Marketing. C. Selling. D. Production. The answer is letter. A. The 1991 Consumer Act of the Philippines is also known as A. Consumer Quality and Safety Law. B. Consumer Product Quality and Safety Law. C. Product Quality and Safety Law. D. Product Safety and Quality Law. The answer is letter. B. The addition of values to a product as it moves to the consumer is called A. Selling. B. Distribution. C. Marketing. D. Production. The answer is letter. C. Who published the book, General Theory of Employment, Interest, and Money? A. Adam Smith. B. David Ricardo. C. Leon Walras. D. John Maynard Keynes. The answer is letter. D. The export of a commodity at below costs, or its sale abroad, at a lower price than at home. A. Import quota. B. Free trade area. C. Dumping. D. Economic union. The answer is letter. C. The form of economic integration, that removes, all barriers, on trade, among members, but each nation, retains its own tariff rates, against non-members. A. Custom union. B. Economic market. C. Economic Union. D. Free Trade Area. The answer is letter. D. Period. During which a borrower need not repay principal and sometimes interest. A. Guarantee Period. B. Free Period. C. Grace Period. D. Non Payment Period. The answer is letter. C. Source of Gains from Trade. A. Forex. B. Resource endowment. C. Remittance. D. Foreign investors. The answer is letter. B. Inflationary pressure may be reduced by A. Increasing money supply. B. Raising income taxes. C. Raising government spending. D. All of the above. The answer is letter. B. The problems of what to produce how to produce, and for whom to produce, are automatically solved by a. The economists of the country. b. The president of the country. c. 
The use of computers. D. The price mechanism. The answer is letter. D. The time, from the beginning of project, until the net value of the investment production, stream totals the amount, of the investment of capital. A. Pay back period. B. Recovery period. C. Operating period. D. All of the above. The answer is letter. A. It is an, arrangement, whereby, the manufacturer, or sole distributor, of a trademarked product, or service, gives exclusive rights of local distribution, to independent retailers, in return for their payment of royal ties, and conformance, to standardized operating procedures. A. Licensing. B. Patenting. C. Guaranteeing. D. Franchising. The answer is letter. D. Study of the various agencies, and business structure, which perform the marketing processes. A. Commodity approach. B. Functional approach. C. Institutional approach. D. Structure conduct performance approach. The answer is letter. C. Thank you for watching. For more videos, follow our Facebook page, and subscribe our YouTube channel. War Agritech TV.